Recording in progress. Hello, subscribers. In this video, uh, I'm going to record a um, common task of a DBA, which we do when we receive the space alerts on the database servers. So although in day-to-day -day life, database administrators, specifically for SQL servers, handle a lot of tasks, and same for other databases. So one of the major tasks is when you receive the space alert on like, you know, the data drive, the log drive and other drives out there. So um, I will discuss one scenario in this one. So recently um, I got the space alert uh, on one of the dev servers. So normally the common practice in dev services to keep the size of the server or the drive consistent and database consistent because that's basically used for development purposes. And we don't need to save like much data out there in the dev. So why uh, to pay more for the storage space when we don't need to pay, store much data out there? We are mainly using for development purposes and then we can test it out in the QA and pre-production and the production uh, will be the final one according to the businesses. So uh, when we need to maintain the date size in the dev box, development box. So um, in this scenario, I received the call that, okay, the space alert reached the high, 90%, uh, more than 90%, and that triggered the call to the alerting system, either SolarWinds, Adera, or other systems which you are using that will alert you out as a DBA. So when you receive a call, uh, one of the major thing you see, like, you know, which database is taking the highest space on that data drive or the log drive or the drive for which you are getting alert. So there are multiple scenarios. In this case, like, you know, I have this test servers on my local and here, like, you know, sometimes you get the temp TV alerts. So that's totally separate. You have to check out like which query is consuming the space out there in the temp TV. And then, which you can do through like, you know, either running two queries or you can go in the activity monitor to see like which queries are running out there, which are consuming or using the temp TV. So that's one of the method for the temp TV, but I will make a separate video for the temp TV, how that is used and how to monitor the space out there in the temp TV and what to do if something happens, because there are various scenarios when you're working on the temp TV, you have to uh, you know, go through different routes to manage the temp TV. It's not like you know, one scenario, scenario fits all. So it's basically multiple scenario you have to deal with. But this video is specifically for the database space alerts. So when you get the database space alerts in the development and you want to maintain the same size for the database so that disk size don't go too much. So in that case, what do you do? You go to the route of the shrinking the database. You go to the route of purging the database. So what do you do like, you know, if some developer, um, you know, put in development a lot of like one terabyte of data out there just for his testing purposes because he want to test before the QA, not in the QA itself. So he put out like one terabyte uh, data out there in the database. So, and you got alert, okay, now database size is 95%. So you will reach out and do purging routine. Purging routine is nothing, basically you are deleting the data um, at some point. So basically like, you know, if your table has like, you know, some date record or the month records, so you can delete the data according okay delete just keep like you know one month of data and delete rest of the data so you will be having like you know delete queries or purge uh, jobs out there in the sql server agent you can define in the sql server agent and the job section so which will run daily and maintain the data space size but in some instances even maintaining the database size don't work so what happens like you know the one month data if you are suppose just sustaining like one month of data in that database that also reaches like more than one terabyte so what do you need to do so you need to again reach out to the developers and find out like you know what exactly happened so in this scenario like you know uh, once you purge the data in the database file you are not still having the proper space on the disk. So basically database is still holding that space out there on the disk, which it has expanded to earlier when developer was filling in the data in the database. So what do you need to do in that case, basically like you know, in this scenario, I see, uh, suppose this is example, we see like adventure works DW 2016 was the database in which on which we got the call. So what happened, we see like, you know, it has increased to like, you know, around 250, 45 megabytes. 
and then we shrinked or basically we purged we purged the data inside that data file now we have 75 mb free so basically after purging we released 75 mb of space in the adventure works dw 2016 database so now after purging what's the next step so this is pretty important because next step some people forget like you know okay we did the purging now why still my disk is not having proper space because you didn't do the shrink out there so basically database is still holding that data and space out there so in this case how do you do shrinking so i will show you again so go in the databases expand go in the adventure works dw 2016 or the database you are working on right click go in the task and go to the shrink and over here go in the files over files you will see like file type if you expand that thing you will see like you know what are the file types this database has if i go to the log so it will show me how much currently allocated space and how much free space available out there in the file if we are concerned about the data file so i go in there currently allocated space is 170 mb allocated available free spaces like about 44 percent which is 75 mb so what i can do i can shrink it to basically let's say i want to shrink it to 100 mb so i go ahead i run shrink or i can script it out if i want to maintain it so what i can do basically like you know i can make a one combined per job which will do like you know delete something suppose in this database one of the table has pretty big data so like dim currency or dim customer so or basically fact table we can call it a fact table because fact table mostly has like the maximum amount of data in the data warehouse so what we can do like you know we can have the purge routine written out there in the first step of the job and second step we do have a shrink out there and we run the shrink shrink will do its job and release the space out there on the desk so that's what it do so let's go back in here and see like you know if it did and release it did so now earlier it was 175 mb now it is 100 mb because we shrink it to 100 mb so that's how you shrink it and release the space to the disk so uh, i will post this uh, script in the description of this video um, so i hope you find it helpful i will keep on posting more videos regarding different practices we follow so i'm working a lot on the cloud right from past five six years now so i will start posting the cloud videos soon so keep tuned so i will post more videos and thanks for watching